909 on the Mike Kelt Show. It's 1025 The Bone, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. I love offspring. I would say pop punk is my favorite type of musical is new. Yeah. Whereas my They'll kids call it classic rock. They'll be down at the uh, Welcome to Rockville. I will not. I'm spring. Too many people. Good, right? Ian is good. Sorry. I wouldn't call this classic rock. No, the kids call it. My kids call it. This is classic rock. Anything it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Realistically. Time-wise. I guess, you know, I, I hear young people say, play some old school rap, and they'll play like, uh, I like, like to me, old school rap is Jay-Z. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. Even before that, right? right. KRS One, because I'm old, yeah. you know. Right. Big old like school rap is like Young album. MC is old school rap. But to right. me, that's that was in the middle. Yeah, I'm old though. We're all. Yeah, we, Sorry, we're, getting, we're getting up there a little bit. Yeah, yeah um, but like uh, my daughter loves Taylor Swift. That's all. Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, Tate McRae, and something about sticks is the. Um, Oh. Stick world. Stick. <laughs> I thought you meant sticks. Like something no, about sticks. No, no. She loves it. Do you know and hear the worst thing that happened yesterday? Ian, you'll relate to this. Mm-hmm. My daughter came in the room and she goes, Dad, what's BBC? Oh. 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 Right. And you didn't immediately think uh, British broadcasting? That, that's what came to my mind. <laughs> that's what she was asking about yeah. because I was watching something on the BBC oh. and in the corner it said BBC. And when she said Dad, what's BBC? I looked at her and I was like, why is she asking me this? Who has to die now? Mm-hmm. And then I go, what? And she goes, on the TV, what's oh. BBC? And I went, oh, thank God. Thank God. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's so funny. Uh, she won't come to ask you that question, I don't think. No, I don't think so either, unless she doesn't really know Correct. and saw something and confused yeah. her. I don't, I don't need that at Your all. Your daughter has to know that you don't want that question. That's important. But see, you know, my daughter, she will specifically ask me something like that just to embarrass me. So not now, maybe, but it, it's coming. It's well, coming. she's getting older. And she's about to change a lot. I got two things against her that I could shut her down with. Um, she does like uh, she knows more. She has an idea, I think, about sex. Like, I think she's learned from like we've talked to her about some stuff. But I think she's learned more from school. How old is she? She's 10. She'll be 11 in a couple of days. But no, no, not interested in sex, but knows, no, like, I, I, TV and what's going on. You know, like, you see people making out on TV. That early? When, when we would watch shows and they'd start a love scene on TV where they'd be making out and they're under the covers, she wouldn't know what was going on because they're just making out. You know what I mean? Mom and dad kiss all the time. So she thought it was that. She doesn't know what they're doing under the covers. Now she kind of gets an idea and there's nudity involved and all that stuff. So. But all I have to do to shut her down is when she says something, she'll be like, I know. And I'll go, you do? Explain it to me. And she'll be like, nope, <laughs> nope. Yeah. So I know I can still control that. And don't bring up periods. Uh, no, Not I that bet- I ever will. But you bring up a period and she's like, mm-mm. I wouldn't worry about. about that. The worst thing from one day, I was uh, in the middle of the day in, a, in, in the summer, 3 o'clock. I'm sitting, I'm sitting down with my daughters. What you guys watching? I'm watching Tila Tequila. You ever watch that show? Yeah. 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 You don't watch your daughters watching. You don't want to know women like that exist. Tila Tequila's in the hot tub kissing guys, girls. Yeah. Guy, girls, dogs. <laughs> every She's tongue kissing. Every, yeah. And I'm just looking at my daughters, and I can't tell them they can't watch it. It's on normal TV. It's on TV. MTV or whatever, I, yeah. I've never told my kids I couldn't watch anything. My, and I just got up and I go, yeah, I can't do this. Yeah. I can't you can't watch, watch it, it with them. Nope. Nope. This is my thing. My dad, I tell people this all the time. My dad took me to see Porky's when I was in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. I have never been arrested. I've never done drugs. None of that stuff. Like I'm I'm perfect when it comes to behavioral stuff. Uh and and the sense of humor that you get from watching a funny movie like that, like Porky's sure. is great. So sure. so I don't believe in any of that stuff. If it, you know, there's a certain age that you that you allow certain things, but I think the the funnier like I took my son to see comedians when he was like eight years old. I, I stopped trying to shelter my kids early because I, I would listen to my kids playing rap music with all kind of lyrics. And I thought to myself, what is it going to do? Like, it, okay, say they were listening to it in two years. Right. They're still not allowed to say it in the house. Right. Okay. I didn't curse in front of my kids. Right. They knew they, if you they didn't found curse out, in front of your kids. I don't, I don't curse in front of my kids. I don't know. Kids, I could not, not do that. I'm coaching now. I never coached. I never curse in front of my kids coaching. 
I would try to refrain from that because they're not my kids. You know what I mean? Like I would try to not the curse of yeah. them because they're not mine. But my kids, I don't care. I I, I call. You should hear the things I call my kids. Never in an angry way. And like never, I'll never look at my kid and say you're stupid or whatever. But that when I'm in a good mood and we joke around, I call them the worst things ever. Yeah, I say things in a roundabout way. I would instead of telling my kid he's dumb, I say you're you're not good at it. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not good. But, but whatever works. You can do better. There's yeah. a lot of encouraging <laughs> ways to say things. You can do better. Well, my son realized early that I was more devious than him. Therefore, he wasn't going to get away with anything. No. I mean, he walked in the house and I go, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Like he's walking all stiff with his hand. And I go, what's in your head? Uh-huh. He has a cigarette. And I go, come on, bro. Come on. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah. I used to be a bouncer. Right, right, right. And I'm, I'm old. Nobody's slipping stuff your, by Your it. body language is just terrible. <laughs> you just tell him I listen to Kumo D. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I know a lot you, of things. The one thing that I am glad that didn't transfer down to my son, this is very hypocritical, is he's no interest in guns. And I am glad. I don't want him to no, have one. Want, I don't want him. That early. No, nah. I don't want him to have one in the car and none of that stuff. I won't. I won't allow that. I'm looking to get one. Which is very well. That I can help you out with. We can go to Shark Coast. You want to know about Shark Coast Tactical? You want to know? How, I, I. I mean, these are above board guys. I'm friends with them. Been endorsing them for years. I could never go there and say, "Hey, can you do this on a download?" They'd be like, "No." Mm-hmm. They're they're like, "Listen, we operate above board, and that's, that's how it goes." That is the best way. You never lose sleep over that, right? So I have seen them follow every rule possible. I went there one time and forgot my uh, my license, my gun license. So I had to buy the gun and then wait three days to get it because I didn't have my license with me. Even though I have been there a bunch of times and they know that I have it, yep. they still wouldn't let me go. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because these guys operate even for no matter who you are you're operating above the board their facebook page got taken down the other day even though they they uh go uh, they follow the guidelines they do everything they're supposed to do they that it's completely liberal social media mm-hmm. has done everything they can to take it off and they're not there there's rules you can do you can show something you could do this you could do that and it's mostly Will just talking about stuff, and, and they took their social media down. That really hurts a small business. That really is awful. Well, nobody's really looking out for small businesses as a no. small business owner. Yeah. I talked to Will uh, when I was uh, filling in for you guys the right. other day. First of all, he was he, he was a fan of mine before, so he's a very intelligent He's man. a Bucks fan. Yeah, yeah, he's a very intelligent man. And uh, to, doing things by the book, okay, is the most I, I you know joe redner yeah I, I find him like back in the day talk to him a lot business-wise yeah. said, give me some give me some wisdom he looked at me and said do good business yeah do business the right way and i i've gone that way the i've done business with so many people but there's nobody that could sit in front of me and say i screwed them yes that, i don't want that the money's not, not it's not that important like when geo is saying tony screwed him out of the money mm-hmm. for yeah, the right. I, yeah. well, I mean you know uh, yeah. uh, you're right you don't want anybody to be able to say that guy was a, a cheater you know yeah. i can i can tell you right now I've never cheated in the ratings i've never had any deal anytime i've ever done anything nefarious it wasn't for me it was for somebody else sure. uh i have never cheated in the ratings i've never been a part of it and people tell me every once in a while hey i got this and i don't want to know anything i don't respond to it i don't i don't do anything i'd rather lose you know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah, you have to do right. So, but to see a company like Shark Coast do that stuff the right way and then get kicked in the D over it, I think that's that's terrible. But well, on the other end of the spectrum, we see a, a company like Creative Loafing do that. Oh, I know. Makes it makes it hurt. I look in the mirror and I look at myself and I go, "Why is this just hap- Why is it just happening? Like nothing's happening, and that and that's it's bothersome to me." If you look in the mirror, the first thought is, "Where do I find a three X Michael Jackson and Jackson Five sweatshirt? Five X? Let me bro, borrow that, bro. Let me tell you something. This is a deceiving body because uh-huh. <laughs> because you know it's it's kind of proportioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's I'm deceivingly wide. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta tell you, it's fashionable. So so real quick before we get into Death Bowl, yeah. with all the talk and all the things that's coming on, there's been no motion. Nobody's reached out and said, "Let's settle this, like man." I I thought about that yesterday. I'm thinking. Yeah. That's a big company in this town. If you didn't do it, would you allow somebody to smear you like this? If you didn't do it, right? Eventually, you're gonna stop it. They obviously don't want to talk about it, which is, I mean, that's saying you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that having them having you thrown out, my favorite. Yeah, escorted out. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. escorted out. Um, <laughs> I, I, and the worst part is you can't go to other news organizations because they're probably guilty of doing the same thing. Probably, yeah. Not this one. No, no, absolutely not. I, but I asked you first. Yeah. And listen, 
I learned early in my radio career, watch who you bad mouth. You got to watch out. You know, it's so funny you said that because 20 years ago, when things weren't so great for me in radio, I was, I kind of had that, I'm going to scorch the earth mentality. I'm going to get, and then I thought, mm, here's why, because you never know where you're going to be in a couple of years and you never know who you're going to need. And you, and you know, and I'm also, it's kind of immature yeah. and mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I'm better off just keeping my mouth shut and concentrating on the one guy that I don't like everybody yeah. else. I'm, I'm fine with. I remember I, there was a guy, this is one of the great things. There was a guy named Louis Albertini who was over at, um, Beasley for a while and he came in to when I worked there it was it was infinity radio mm -hmm. and he came into infinity and I remember uh the great Ross Reback called me up one day and he said I have bad news for you I said okay and he said they're hiring a guy named Louis Albertini to come back as a general manager and I go why is that bad for me he goes they're flipping your station and I go what do you why would you why would it be my station what do you mean he goes he's a guy who specializes in Spanish radio and they just hired him. He was working at a funeral home, and they just hired him to go do radio again. They're flipping that station. And I was like, oh. So I asked, and everyone lied to me. No, 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 no. And Ross said, take all your important stuff out of the building. And sure enough, they didn't fire me, but they did flip the radio they, station. They flipped it, yeah. And that guy, they went to him, and they said, even if we flip the radio station, we should put him somewhere else and put, keep him. Sure. And they paid me for a year to do nothing. And he said, no, I've been listening, and I just don't hear it. And now he's not out of a job, of and I am the number one show in the yeah, area. Of course. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. Just let laugh at him. Let him get uh, go back to the funeral parlor business or whatever he does, and I will sit here collecting bonus checks four times a year. Yeah, like, I'm an old, raggly guy, okay? Yeah. I'm not a fighter. Back in the day, I went and took care of business a different way. And right. I, I, I'm right, just right. telling you, you know, just yesterday I was sitting with somebody and we're talking about the whole Chris Rock thing and Will uh, Will Smith, and he goes, he had me like a gentleman. I looked at him, I go, I don't know a lot of gentlemen that just get slapped in front of people. Mm. I go, that's what, that's the way I was brought up. On everything, on everything that I love ever, if somebody slaps me, I can't just let them slap. No. So I just, I, I felt like they slapped me. They're slapping me. There, you ever seen a movie where a guy punches another guy and he goes, "Why'd you do that?" Yeah, I no. can never have a conversation with somebody if they never, hit me. It would just be again. us fighting back, nope. even nope. if it means I'm going to get my ass kicked. Yep. For, That's period. weird. And if somebody whoops me, I'm going to say, "Good for you." I'm coming back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you. I gotta get. Did I'm you gonna... watch the new Chappelle special? I have not. So he talks a lot about the Will Smith thing, and one of the things he said is, uh, "He goes, I got it. I wish." You could say the N-word for the joke purpose. Mm -hmm. He goes, I called that guy. I can say Yeah, and he goes, I called him up, and he, and he answered the phone. He said, you're the only guy I'd answer the phone for right now. <laughs> he said, I FaceTimed him right after, and he goes, and I, asked, and I said, did it hurt? And he goes, of course it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to me, man. Um, but he's the only comedian that he can get away with slapping, probably. Who else would allow that to happen? I don't know. Can I be honest with you? I I. I'm going to tell you right now, you slap me, I'm going to attack you and kill yeah, you or whatever. For sure. But if I'm at the Academy Awards and Will Smith slaps me, I might be like, what just happened? Like, I might have no, like, I might just be uh, so caught off guard. I'll be like, what just, what did just happen? You, you, okay. Would you put it that way? Yeah. Like, he didn't see it coming at all. No. At he all. laughed at it. Yeah. He was like, ah, he's uh, uh, coming uh, up here. And he even said until he got slapped, yeah. he thought that Will Smith was coming up to do something. Right. Like, the microphone or yeah, something. Yeah, something. And then, it, and then it, if you have the, the brain that says keep your composure because he did the right thing mm -hmm. if he would have started flailing at at will smith and the two of them would have been fighting it would have been the most embarrassing thing ever instead he just Truth. took it and he calmed down he did the right thing During i don't know break, if he had a problem i don't know if he did it on, a, on purpose or if he did it out of shock but he did the right thing i don't think chris rock would ever come at him I no don't think that's just he's mean. not a fighter no but yeah. i would say this will smith's not gonna slap a lot of other people because he knows there's gonna be ramifications to that yeah For sure i don't know i don't think he cared i think he was in a lunatic place no i think he did it because chris rock's smaller and he knew he wouldn't fight back really? he wouldn't do that to somebody who wasn't fighting back will smith doesn't chris rock is little yeah and, and this and everybody says there's no reason to do that and i said watch out now okay because we don't know the history that we first with jada slept with his son's friend. friend yeah she slept with probably a lot of other guys the the rumors are in hollywood probably that will smith's a bitch okay so that's straight up that goes around right yeah supposedly chris rock tried to pick her up 
literally Jada. Uh-huh. So you're gonna stand up and get, and, and make jokes about my wife's bald head? I'm not gonna allow it for that long. No yeah. way. I'll be like, yo, cut that off, kid. Cut it off. He just did it a different way. I wonder I, if I was with my wife and somebody made a joke, I'd probably just laugh it off. It's a joke, especially no. if, it, if it's Chris Rock. If I if I go out with my wife, my wife's like, my cat is here. But Look if you have wife. Ish, okay, give give me another comedian. To, let me. Uh, okay, say it's a, a, a cross-eyed cuckold up on the uh, stage. He and, dies. And that's what I'm yeah, saying. That's so, the thing. It's got to be some heat there. We don't know there wasn't heat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know? That's true. I agree with Galvin. If it was The Rock up there, it's yeah. like Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith yeah. is not going up yeah. there to smack him. No, the Rock not. would catch the slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No Crush his hand. Yeah, man. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's, we're getting too far, of course. Let's go back to the death pool. Um, we start now with Ian, right? Ian is the first pick. Yes. And then who's on deck? Spanish. And then who? And then, then it's me, I think. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ian, with the first pick of the 2024 Death Bull, who do you choose? I'm just going to go to odds and go with Dick Van Dyke. Dick mm. Van Dyke. He's yeah. up there in his mm. 90s. He's Let 98. Me, yeah. Erase him from my list. No. That is a, uh, a good pick because you can get your first to go points if he goes. So, okay. We go over to Spanish. Mm-hmm. Alan Alda. Spanish with the second round in the uh, 2024 Death Bowl takes the great, the legend Alan Alda from MASH fame. All right. And then over to Pap Pap. I am going to go with Jimmy Carter. Ah, you son of a bitch. Is Jimmy Carter's not dead? No. Uh, Rodman Carter not Yeah, yeah. Oh, we all gone. expected him to yeah. be gone. I thought quickly. he went right after. No, he did. My That's bad. what we were expecting, though. Uh, yeah. Then it's over to Carmen. I will go Dick Vitale. Damn it. Oh, he just got cured. Yeah, he's good. Uh, mm-hmm. had a, he had a lot. That's what going. you think. <laughs> oh, you know something. Uh, all, right. all right, then it's over to me, and I am going to go. Not only will the Steelers beat the Bills, but Marv Levy will die. Oh, he man. used to be the uh, Bills coach. <laughs> As a Levy, result? Who, yeah, who is 98 years old. Uh, then it goes over to Mike Kelta. I will take the legend that is Bob Newhart. Ah, you son of a bitch. Too fold on that. I don't want to take him, but I had him on my list. He's old and old. Yeah, he is old and looks rough. Uh, Uh, Gio? Yep, over to the winner of last year. The winner? I'll take uh, Eva Marie Saint. She she is alive? Yes. Yes. Uh, And then uh, another one for Gio. Mm. Oh, it's coming back to that way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Bruce Willis. Oh. I'm telling you, Bruce Willis is perfectly healthy. You think it's fake? Once his name came on the Epstein yeah. list, mm-hmm. they were like, make Bruce look like he's got problems because he'd been to the Epstein Island so many times. Now they just make him look like he's mental so that they're like, I don't, right, don't want to take Bruce Willis. No, no, no. Back over to Mike Kelta. I will take a gentleman who actually has a birthday today, Charles Osgood of the Osgood oh. File. Are we picking three today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, then it goes over to uh, Pat Pat. Nope. Nope. No. No, Galvin. Why do Galvin. you? Why do you guess? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just... it's it's I was wild. asking. It's I will wild. take. Oh. <laughs> no, not you either. Uh, it comes over to me, and I am going to take Alan Greenspan. Ah. Alan Greenspan. Yes, he's nice and old. Jesus. <laughs> <nice and> <laughs> yeah, uh, let me guess. Pep, pep. No, then it goes over. <laughs> goes over to Carmen. I am going to go Clint Eastwood. Oh, I got him. Yeah, 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 I had him as well. Yeah, him as well. Who is your guy, Mike? Uh, Charles Osgood. Good. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you know? I just don't know. American yeah. television writer. Oh, he's an Osgood file. He's been on. He uh, does like what's a. The what's the Osgood? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's like a. Uh, nobody report. else. Nobody else questions stuff. Everybody. It's just like um things. like Andy Rooney used to do on 60 Minutes. He does like a where he goes out into the streets and he meets people and does mm. stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just Osgood, I'm not familiar with files. Him. Where are we at now? He's on IMDb, I guess. Oh, we're still on Charles Osgood. Don't think you're getting out of that. He's an so author. I'm sorry. You're in three picks later. It doesn't matter. We can still go back. <laughs> All right, I'll, wait. I'll vote on it. I'll just arrange my yeah. desk while you guys He was about. anchor of CBS News. It's fine. I just, I was not okay. familiar with him. Uh, all right. Pap, uh, pap. Then it goes over to Pap Pap. I will be going with uh, film director Roger Corman. Roger okay. Corman. Yeah. All right. Who's that? Yeah, Exploitation film yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Uh, and then over to Spanish. I am going to go with Gene Hackman. Oh, you son of a bitch. How old is Gene Hackman? He's in 94, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, then, Ian, you're going to make two picks here. Oh, two picks. Yeah. Uh, let's go with uh, Norman Lear. He's dead. Is he? Yeah, he just died. Oh, this is going to be a fiasco then. Um, Bob Barker died? Yep. Yes. 
He did, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go to. <laughs> Price is wrong. <laughs> Glittis Johns. Uh, did she not die? Mm, let me see. Who? <laughs> <laughs> He's just Googling old celebrities. Robert yeah. Wagner? He's a lot. Oh, oh, Robert right. Wagner. Uh, Glennis Johns, yes, died uh, actually on the 4th. She just died four days wow. ago. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't feel that bad. Uh, who did you say? Uh, Robert Wagner. Robert Wagner. That's good. Yeah, he's in heart to heart? Is he really? Yeah. That's crazy. He looks great. Yeah, 93. And I got one more. Gene Shallot alive? Gene Shallot. I don't, I don't he know. He is alive. Well, let's you go sure? with Gene Shallot. He How do you know? He Hold should have on. been dead. Yes, he's alive. Ninety-seven. Yeah. Yep. Ninety-seven. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time we saw him in public? About Oof. sixty years ago. Holy Christ! Okay. Uh, back over to Spanish. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Uh, no, all right. And then no, it wasn't at all. Uh, then over to Pat Pat. Mel Brooks. Jesus. Uh, uh, Mel, Mel Brooks. Brooks is also in his mid nineties. Yeah. Carmen, who you got? I'm going Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews. Is she still alive? Yep. You're positive? You sure? Yep. All right. Check it out. Uh, I hate to say it because I love him as an actor, but I'm going to go with Robert Duvall. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. sad. Yeah. Robert Duvall. Bobby D. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, no offense. You're not the consigliere. Uh, let's see. Then over to Mike. Uh, I will take fashion icon Iris Apple. Okay. Now you're getting out of control. <laughs> I, Iris hey, Apple? Apple. No, I, I, I know who she is. Apple. Yes. Oh, get out of here. Come I saw on. the same list. Get I am not here. on it. I am not on Am I looking at me? Am I Googling? Am I on any list? Yes. I follow her on Instagram for yeah. years. You do follow oh, yeah. on a fashion icons. <laughs> what is it? Irish Apple? Iris <laughs> Apple. Yeah, she's 110. I vote no. I'm not drinking it up. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. I, yeah. well, no, I know who she is once I saw her. Thank you, Galvin. Yeah. She's crazy with those stupid glasses. Thank you, yeah. Galvin. Yeah. Get out she of has here. 2.9 million followers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I'm one of them. I'll allow it. Just didn't know the name, but uh, once I saw her old stupid face, I get it. Irish Apple goes her <laughs> <place>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, Geo, you pick one, and then we'll start back with you on the next round. I'll take Joyce Randolph. Joyce Randolph. I thought she died. Maybe. Let's From the up. Honeymooners? Yeah. So I pick her every year, and then last year I was looking. I'm like, "How is she still alive?" And I thought I saw that she died. It says she's still alive. Yeah, yep, still alive. Yeah, 99 years old. Sweet, Man, she is God, still alive. Where is she? All right, all right, Carmen. Just remember, we uh, stop with Geo, so Got he has it. to make the one more pick, and then we go down the list the other way. Yep. Tomorrow I pick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good Very job. Nice. Good job. We're in. Ian's in. We're in. Tony's, Tony's out. out. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. How mad is Tony? I said, um. I totally forgot to pay Gio. He's paid up now. I didn't know I was voted out. I'll take over for Carmen. Then, court of the rules. Unpaid penalties. All fees must be paid to the previous year's winner before the current points can be accrued. Should a player not pay and a pick of theirs dies, they will not receive points for that pick. Points will not be given even after late payment is received. Oof. According to the rules. He can play. He can play. Mm. Yeah, we do voted. We, do we want to let him back in the fold? How about if we penalize him? Well, this was a penalized because we already picked our first round, right? Right. What if we what if we let him submit two picks instead of three and he's one pick short of the list? No. No. Joe, you vote him out? Out. All in favor of Tony being out of the death pool, raise your hand. Aye. Out Aye. of the death pool. Ian, you'd still be in. Uh, okay, then I'm, either yeah. I'm, I'm neutral then. My hand yeah, is it's down, just by more the way. money. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, all, all, picks, all, more money. all in favor of letting Tony back in the death pool, raise your hand. Money All only if he doesn't have three these three picks. No, he no, he doesn't get he three picks in a row. No, no, gets these three picks. But They're penalized. He can, he, he can start away. now. Yeah, yeah. He picks it up now, yeah. and then he gets to pick three at the very end when we're all done. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I no, think he should have sure, less picks but... than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, if he has to pick the three at the end, he's yeah. picking through bones and stuff. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> 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 All right, all right, good. We voted Tony back. He's yeah. back in. I'm back, baby. Now, the next question is, though, where does he pick? Oh, he picks After he... or before Ian? Where after. would he have been? After. He will... would start back in and after Ian. Yeah. So before Spanish. So it goes Ian, Tony, Spanish. 
No. No, it'd go. No. Ian and Tony. Because it's going not backwards. It's going backwards now, Carmen. So, right. oh, yeah. But I'm then saying when we come back, two. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. Tony gets two picks, which gives you an advantage of picking yeah. two in a row. Yeah. So it's either after, you know what I mean? So just think about it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe in between. In between. Uh, in between. I vote no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just said your vote doesn't count. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Tony's back. Boo. That moves I'm running to how much now? Um, that twelve to four, no, a 14, lot. So it's sixteen. I, I like that better. I like a higher pool. I got an extra. There were the uh, the paid picks was like an extra hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. Why? Uh, I think that should go to that should go to the commissioner. What? what? Or at least go to the guy who has to pay for the website. Randy Allen. Well, Randy <laughs> Allen is not the commissioner. Commissioner, my commissioner. <laughs> uh, by the way, it'll be sixteen hundred base because there's eight of us now playing. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Or do we bring somebody else in and make it even two grand? Oh, oh my already no, started. that would be two more people. <laughs> ah, then not bad. Math is hard. <laughs> uh, do you want to go over our football picks since we're doing uh, this well, stuff? We got to well, take a break uh, either way. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. We'll take a quick break. We come back and we will get into our football picks next on 102.5 The Bone.